Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 3rd of 2023 well, it is titled MYCN 18, the engraved hourglass planetary nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula, and you might be able to imagine it in the shape of the an hourglass, although that big eye at the center tends to distract you from looking at the outer layers. Now, this is an example of what happens at the end of the life of a star much like our own sun. At the central core of this, a star is collapsing down to become a white dwarf star. Now that happens at the end of the life of a star. It's used up all of its fuel, which has supported it throughout possibly billions of years of life. And those nuclear reactions in the center have held it up against gravity. However, when it runs out of fuel, gravity wins and the core starts to collapse down and will eventually become something about the size of Earth, but still the mass of a star. And that is what we call a white dwarf star, the compact dead remnant of a star that was once like our sun. Now, while that happens, the outer layers are expelled out into space. And that's a lot of what we see here or what was were once outer layers of a star. And that's the outer regions that have been expelled. Now when the star contracted down, those outer layers would expand and the star would become a red giant and then a red super giant star. And eventually it becomes so large that little instabilities and pulsations can propel those outer layers out into space. And that's what we see here. Now the unusual patterns that we see here are very interesting and we notice that planetary nebulae do not all look the same. Some look just like a single ring, Other give others give us unusual patterns such as the one we see here. And perhaps it is related to the original star that happened to form. If it happened to be part of a binary system and was moving in orbit around another star, you might get a quite different pattern than you would if the star was just there all by itself. So we study planetary nebulae to learn more about this end process of a star's life that applies to most stars in the universe. The only stars that will not go through a planetary nebula phase would be the most massive stars. And those would be the ones that will eventually become a supernova. So here we get to see an image of something that may be somewhat like what our sun will be like billions of years from now after it has exhausted the fuel at the center of our sun. So that was our picture of the day for October 3rd of 2023. It was titled MYCN 18, the engraved hourglass planetary nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be witch head. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.